So since my printable coloring pages listing has already gotten 12 orders and it's a very new listing, I thought I would share exactly how you can make your own printable coloring pages to sell in your shop. You don't have to be a graphic designer or an artist and they're super fun and easy to create. So let's get started. Welcome to my channel. I'm Sandra and I currently have a printable shop that successfully makes daily sales. And I've noticed that printable coloring pages are hot items on Etsy. So I decided to test it out for my Myself, and it's going really well. So with that being said, I think it's a great niche for you to get into because there's so much demand for it. There are many kinds of coloring pages you can create depending on what you're interested in. You can create adult coloring pages that offer a very therapeutic and mindful activity. You can offer printable coloring pages for kids. Of course, there are many types that you can get into here. I liked the idea of alphabet coloring pages. So that's what I'm going to show you how to create in this tutorial. I actually already created an printed one out already. So I'm going to show you how to create this from scratch. Of course, just follow along the tutorial and you don't have to create alphabet coloring pages. You can choose whatever niche you want. I'm just going to show you the method to do it. I'm hopping onto one of my favorite platforms to create printables, which is Kittle. You can sign up for free using the link in the description box below. And if you'd like to upgrade your subscription, I will go over those later on in this video. What I love about Kittle is that you have a DPI control. So if you're creating JPEG files, PNG files, and PDF files, you can increase the DPI to let's say 300 DPI and they have very clear licensing terms. So you are allowed to use all of their elements and fonts in your digital products. So I'll Although they have a lot of templates that you are allowed to work through, I like to start my own project from scratch. So I'm going to go to the top right over here and go to new project. Right away, it's going to ask you what size you want your artboard to be. You can always change this later, but I'm actually going to go ahead and click on inches under units and make this an eight and a half by 11 inch artboard, which is a US letter size. I noticed that a lot of other Etsy sellers are offering this size. So I'm just going to start with that and hit create. So now I have a blank artboard to work with. And on the left side, this is where I can add all of my design elements. So if I go into text, I can add in my letter. So I'm going to do the letter C. But if I were to offer alphabet coloring sheets, I would probably offer all 26 letters. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and create for the letter C. And I'm going to change the font to this one here. If I want to make it larger, I can either just drag one of these nodes or I can choose what text size I want here. Okay, now I want to change my letter to a white with a black border so that they can color it in. So under text color, I'm going to change it to a white and now I can't see my letter, but under border weight, I'm going to change it to a black. And if I drag this border weight, you'll see that outline start to appear. So I'm just going to make it, let's say border weight seven. And now I'm just going to copy and paste. So command C or control C and command V. So I'm just going to drag it over here and I'm going to make it a small C. Okay, and let's just reduce the size a little bit. Okay, that looks good because I want the kids to have an uppercase and lowercase c to color in. Now what I'm going to do is add in a bunch of graphics that start with the letter C. So what I'm going to do is go right into elements right over here. And like I mentioned in Kittle, you are allowed to use all the graphics and fonts within the printables that you want to sell. So you can go ahead and browse through all of their shapes, their illustrations, if you want to just take a look at what's available to you. But you can also go into the search feature right here and type in exactly what you're looking for. So let's say I want to put in a cat. So there's a lot of different options here that I can add in. These are all super cute, but I really gravitated towards this one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And what's great is this is very customizable. So I want everything to be white with a black border, right? So under object color, I'm just going to go ahead and change this all to white. And let's make the border a black. Okay, so that one was super easy because it already has a black outline. But what if I find something that doesn't have an outline? Well, let's say I want to put in a crow and I kind of like this one here. So I'm just going to select it and I'm going to change the object color to a white. And similar to the letters, I'm just going to go ahead and go to the border weight and make it black and drag the border weight to about a five. So I like that. I'm just going to flip it over. And this is where I could just play around with where everything is placed to make sure that everything kind of just looks the way I want it. Now I'm just going to add in a few more images that start with the letter C. So I'll show you a couple here and then I'm just going to kind of fast forward all of the elements that I add in so you can kind of see the finished product. Let's add in a camera. 
So again, there's so many different elements that Kittle offers for you. But if you do want to add in your own graphics that you have a commercial license to, or you've created from scratch, you can go ahead to uploads right over here and just go to upload media. So you could just add in graphics that you have on your computer. But for this one, I'm just going to use graphics from Kittle. So back to the camera, I like this one here. So I'm just gonna add it in just like that. And once again, very repetitive, just make it all white with a black border. So I'm gonna repeat the process for a bunch of other items and you can watch as I do it. Okay, so I've gone in and added a few more graphics like coffee, a candy cane, cactus, a car. So I think it's really cute. I mean, if I wanna do the other 25 letters, I would probably just copy and paste this onto another page, change the letter, and then add in just different graphics with that letter. Now, I just want to add in a couple of hearts. I know it doesn't start with a C, but I just wanna kind of fill in those little gaps. So I'm just gonna type in a heart in the elements. So I'm gonna find a heart that I really like that I can start just filling in the gaps. So one once again, it's very, very easy to use. Just make it white and then change the border weight. I really like how this is turning out. I'm just gonna add in a border in the background to give the kids another element to color in. So let's go and type in border. I like this one here. So let's just make it larger to kind of fill in as much as we can on the page. And now I can center it in the middle. So right over here, I'm just gonna center it here and then put it in the middle. And you have layers over here where you can kind of drag the illustration illustrations based on what you want to show up in the front and back. But I just like to take a shortcut. So I'll just right click and I will send it to the back. So now it's behind all of the other elements. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. So now I'm just going to download the file that I'm going to offer to my customer. By the way, if you're getting value from this video so far, hit that like button and let me know in the comments what other printables you'd like me to show you how to create using Kittle. So to download, I'm gonna go right up over here and I can choose whether I want to download PNG, JPEG, PDF, or SVG. Now, in order to change the DPI to 300, you will have to upgrade to the pro version in Kittle, but you can play around with the platform using their free version and you can upgrade whenever you're ready. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to a 300 DPI and download it as a PDF because that's what I want to offer to my customer. If I'm going to offer more than five files for this listing, then I'm going to put all of this either into a zipped folder or offer a Dropbox link. If you'd like a whole demonstration on this, you can watch my other tutorial in Kittle where I create printable stickers. I will link that down below for you. My next step is to create the images for my Etsy listing. So in order to do that, I'm going to go back to download and I'm actually going to download this as a JPEG file and you'll see why. Back onto Kittle, I'm gonna go into new project and this time I'm going to keep it at pixels and I'm going to change it to 2,500 by 2,500 pixels because Etsy recommends a minimum size of 2,000 by 2,000 pixels. So let's create that. Now I'm gonna go into uploads and when I went to upload media, I already uploaded my JPEG file of the coloring page. So I'm just going to click on it and now I'm just going to create my image. I wanna put in like a nice background where where the page would look like it's laying on the floor or a desk or something like that. So I actually already went into pexels.com. This is a free stock image platform where you can get any types of images you would like. And I downloaded this image from Pexels. It looks like kind of like a gray wood floor. So I'm just going to make it larger to extend through the whole page. Okay, I've sent it to the back. Now I want to put on like pencil crayons, kind of like the image that I had earlier for my other listing. I think it just kind of adds a nice touch to it. So this image I actually got from Pixabay, which is also full of free stock images. And I just typed in pencil crayons until I found an image that I really liked, but it didn't have a transparent background. So what I did was I went to the right side here where it says background remover. So let's remove the background and I'm just going to rotate it to just kind of place it where I would like it on the image. Now I'm just going to add in some text at the top, just kind of adding a title when people find my Etsy listing so they know what they're getting.
So I just described what they're getting in the listing. I put in alphabet coloring pages, and then I let them know that this is a printable. They're not receiving any physical copies. It's US letter size, and they're getting 26 pages. Like I mentioned, I would be creating 26 pages for this listing. I'm just creating one for the sake of this tutorial. The last element I want to add in is kind of like a drop shadow. So I'm gonna go back into elements. I'm going to add in a rectangle and I'm just going to extend it a little bit to the right. And then I'm going to send it to the back. And I'll just change the opacity to let's say 30, just so that it looks like a little shadow. Okay, so now I'm going to download this as a JPEG file because I'm going to add it to my Etsy listing. You can check out Kittle's available subscriptions by going into pricing. I personally recommend the pro version because you have a DPI control and you have a full commercial license with no attribution required. But if you're using their elements and fonts under the free version, attribution is required. So you will have to mention that your printables have been created using Kittle's elements. And as I mentioned, what I love about Kittle is that their licensing terms are very, very clear. They tell you exactly what you are allowed to do and not allowed to do. They also have so many advanced editing tools that honestly, I find that I could only do it using something like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, but they've actually been able to implement a lot of editing tools in here that are very, very easy to use. So play around with it, see how you like it. They also have an incredible AI feature that's coming up very soon. So stay tuned for that. If you are working on your printable shop, you can grab my free master checklist from the link in the description box below. Head over to one of these tutorials next where I show you how to create printable stickers and printable wall art using Kittle. So I'll see you there.